This video is brought to you by Virchi, a science and technology company offering research and development and consulting. Welcome to the third episode of this four book astronomy and astrophysics video series. This time we'll be talking about the Venus retrograde orbit. This Earth-Moon orbital two-way gravitational log theory of the mechanism of the interaction of planetary bodies that is explained in the first episode of this series can be used with great simplicity, logic, and success to explain Venus's unusual retrograde orbit or clockwise axial spin and other anomalies in the solar system. All the other planets in the solar system spin counterclockwise. Venus's clockwise axial spin is a major anomaly. It can be observed that planet Venus, in its orbit around the Sun, orbits in parallel to the Sun's polarities as all the other planets in the solar system. However, because it faces a fixed direction when facing Earth during its orbit, it can be observed that Venus is locked in on a perpendicular axis onto a neighboring celestial body, or Earth. Venus is locked gravitationally on a second perpendicular axis onto Earth. Because Venus always faces Earth with its same side, in the same way the Moon is locked onto Earth through a second perpendicular axis or two-way gravitation lock as explained in the Moon chapter or in the first episode of this series. And this is why Venus faces a fixed direction during its orbit around the Sun, while its North and South Pole axis is locked in parallel onto the Sun's polarity. If you'd like more of an explanation on the two-way gravitation lock, I would recommend watching the first episode. These observations led me to conclude the following hypothesis. As planet Venus approaches Earth in a faster orbit, it locks in onto Earth through a second perpendicular axis grip, and always through Venus's same side. Because of a quadrupole polarization in Venus's structure, the same as Earth's moon quadrupole polarization, this is what causes the same side of Venus to always face Earth. And as Venus is passing Earth, it is pulled into a retrograde orbit, or slow clockwise spin, because it is forced into a clockwise direction spin as it speeds away and gains distance while looking back facing Earth due to the perpendicular axis lock. This is due to Venus's perpendicular gravitational slash electromagnetic grip onto Earth and Venus having a faster orbit around the Sun than Earth's orbit. There are two variations of Venus's perpendicular grip. It is not clear if the gravitational perpendicular axis lock onto Earth 1. stays locked onto Earth throughout Venus's entire orbit around the Sun or 2. if it loses the grip as it gains distance as it moves away from Earth and then re-locks onto Earth as it approaches Earth again. That is left to be discovered. But these two variations are very similar, however, further analyses need to be done to determine which is the more accurate one. Venus Orbital Facts It can be observed that Venus completes a one-day rotation at exactly its closest point of encounter with Earth. Also, it needs to be factored in that Earth is moving in its orbit and the point of encounter is always proportional to their orbital speeds and location. A mathematical formula of the ratios can be derived from their encounter points, orbit speeds, and orbit locations. Venus has an exact ratio of three periods of rotation to every two Earth orbits. Three to two ratio between Venus's period of rotation and Earth's orbit revolution. That is proof of their synchronous orbits and gravitational grip. Every third time that Venus meets Earth, Earth completes two orbits around the Sun. That cannot be a coincidence. That is proof of their synchronous connectivity. This explanation for the cause of Venus's retrograde orbit makes logical sense and is self-evident and is the best scientific explanation available to date. Also, Venus and Mercury have no moons to create and complete the homopolar generator effect that creates the spin force on a planet's axis and magnetosphere, as explained in Why Planets Spin on Their Axis chapter or in the first episode of this series. Which is why Venus and Mercury do not spin on their axis in any significant speed. Venus is the second planet from the Sun, orbiting it every 224.7 Earth days. It has the longest rotation period of 243 days of any planet in the solar system and rotates in the opposite direction to most other planets, meaning the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east, if we're looking at it from Venus. It does not have any natural satellites. It is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, and it is the second brightest natural object in the night sky after the moon, 
reaching an apparent magnitude of 4.6, bright enough to cast shadows at night and rarely visible to the naked eye in broad daylight. This book is part of a four book series, three of which are available right now on Amazon, Apple eBooks, and Barnes and Noble. Links will be in the description. Stay tuned and subscribe for next time, where we'll be talking about the dinosaur bonsai apocalypse.